today I have just been on my run again I did the same one as yesterday but backwards today um, again it was really hard I like really struggled to breathe not good I'm hoping by the end of the week or by the end of the two weeks I'll be finding it easy so the plan today I'm just finishing my coffee and I'm gonna head down to the University of Sussex however I've just encountered a slight issue in that the parking there is apparently a nightmare you can only stay in the car parks for three hours and you're not allowed to like change car parks within campus so i'm just going to try and work out what i should do to overcome that because i definitely need to be there for more than three hours because my goal for the day today is to write my literature review which is a four thousand section four thousand words section of my dissertation which is the second biggest section so it will feel very good to get it out of the way if i can get it out of the way and then later on, I don't know if I'm going to go yet or not, but there is um, this free event happening at a pub uh, in Brighton where anybody can turn up and then it's like a life drawing class, but you are the models. So each person takes turns to take five minutes and then everybody else draws them. And I thought not only would it be really fun to be drawn and like see what people think I look like, um, but also just have a little go at drawing some other people. So I need to just pop up into the loft and get my art supplies out. I don't know what medium I'll take with me. Maybe a variety. So I think I'll go there a bit later on. <coughs> so I just rang the university and spoke to the transport lady there and she said, um, <laughs> yeah, you can only stay for three hours, but as it's the Easter holidays, I'm going to give you some backdoor advice and say that nobody is going to stop you being there for more than three hours. As long as you go in this car park. I was like, okay, I see what you're saying here. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so problem solved. Right, I need to pack my bags and then I'm off. This jumper is really hot and it's a really hot day, but I really want to wear it. It's been a very long time since I've actually been on campus. This makes me feel like I'm doing my teacher training all over again. But um, here's the library. Whoop. And that's where I'm going to spend the rest of the day. <laughs> with no sunlight. I have stopped for a little lunch break. It's going well, but I was honestly deluded thinking I would be able to write 4,000 words today because it just takes so long to reference everything and make sure that I'm not like plagiarising other people. <laughs> but I've got two more hours to go, so let's go get into it. I don't know what this booth is. I think it might be soundproof. But it's very cool. And I'm in like a glass box. Hmm. Just a little seven hour stint in the library there. Whew. It actually feels very nice to get out and get some fresh air. I think I was going a bit crazy, like scrambled egg brain. And my eyes don't feel quite right from looking at the screen for so long. I couldn't stay in that glass box for very long. It was so warm. It was like a little sauna in there. I think maybe they were designed for like cold people to go and warm up. <laughs> I'm just walking back to my car. Hopefully I don't have a ticket. And... I'm going to head to that pub to do that drawing thing. I just think it'll be really fun, especially after a day like today, to just kind of like switch off my brain and sketch somebody for a while. So let's head there. I've never been to this pub before, so I don't really know if there's any parking, but hopefully it's not too bad. Oh my God, I'm so out of breath. Right, here we go. Let's see what this is about. It is a 
30 and I'm back in the car. That was so much fun. I can't believe I've only just found out about it. I think that is going to be potentially a weekly thing for me. I just really enjoy myself. Um, I only did two drawings that I'm proud of, but I haven't done life drawing in literally years. So um, that's better than nothing. And such lovely... Oh! <laughs> such lovely people as well. Um, just really, really chilled vibes. Okay. Here's one of two that I'm proud of. Like, that is probably the best that thing I've ever done. unreal. Tried. Yeah. Very cool. I might even frame it. This was my second to last one of this older man who had, who, whose hair I have absolutely nailed. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I got two deliveries today, this dress from m &S, which is only part of my order, so hopefully they'll go on rise tomorrow. And then these two, which are from Bowdoin. Uh, it's a little bit dark, but I'm just too excited, so I'm going to try them on now. This is the first one, which is not for the wedding. This is just for work. I thought this would look cool with my boots. Nice for summer, going into a bit warmer weather. Very nice. And I think they're little blueberries. This is the first of the Bowdoin ones. It's like a gold. Full length. I thought it was midi, actually. But um, it's got really nice cutouts either side. And makes me feel quite like tall and classy and glamorous. So this is definitely a contender for the wedding. Um, with a nice pair of heels, which should arrive tomorrow. That's and it. last but not least, second dress from Bowdoin, which I just think is not my colour. It looks like a bridesmaid's dress. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Okay, right, this one can go back then, but I'm going to keep the other two. I am going to have a shower, edit my vlog and go to bed, so thanks for watching today. My brain has officially turned to mush. I'm ready for a big long sleep. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to the theatre tomorrow night with Jodie to watch Grease. Very excited. <laughs> Only Horsham Theatre. It's like a local musical theatre school doing it. I'm not going up to London or anything. But I'm very excited nonetheless. So I'll see you then. Good night.